In this video, I'm going to be talking about the many mistakes people make when starting to work out. We've all been there. We make the decision to lose weight or build muscle but have little knowledge or experience in how to actually achieve this. Well, don't worry. I'm going to be telling you 10 mistakes that you need to avoid. Let's get into it. But before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss another video. Let's go. When first stepping into a gym, the very first mistake many people make is Number 1. Ignoring proper form when walking into the gym for the first time, you look around and see everyone lifting pounds and pounds of weight. And you think to yourself, I can lift that. So you try and lift the heaviest weight possible and completely throw form out the window. The first thing you should do when lifting weights for the first time is learn the proper form for each exercise. Doing this helps you build good habits and will massively benefit you in every future workout. Of course, we don't expect you to have amazing form when you first start, but learning how to effectively and safely perform each exercise from the get-go is key to building muscle. Using the correct form will also mean you'll be able to train for longer due to its impact on injury prevention. Using proper form helps to distribute the load evenly across muscles and joints, reducing the risk of injuries. Incorrect form can put excessive stress on specific body parts, leading to strains, sprains, or more severe injuries. Getting injured can put you out of action for weeks and in more serious cases, months. When this happens, it can be harder for people to pick up from where they left off, making them more likely to quit. Other than reducing the risk of injury, exercising with proper form is great for your mind-muscle connection. Focusing on proper form enhances the mind-muscle connection, where you become more aware of the sensations in your muscles during an exercise. This connection can lead to more effective workouts and improved muscle activation. Proper form is important, but you'll also want to avoid this second mistake, which is Number 2. Skipping warm-ups and cool-downs Let's be honest, even though we know we should be warming up and cooling down before and after every workout, we either don't have time or just simply forget to do so. Warm-ups and cool-downs are essential components of a well-rounded exercise routine, contributing to overall performance, injury prevention, and recovery. Even if you stretch before and after exercise, you need to understand the difference between the two. For your warm-ups, you should gradually increase your heart rate, blood flow to the muscles, and body temperature. It should also include dynamic stretching to enhance flexibility and prepare your body for the specific movements of your workout. Begin with light cardiovascular activity to raise your heart rate and increase blood flow to the muscles. Try doing between 5 to 10 minutes of activities such as a light walk or job, skipping or cycling. Follow this up with some joint mobilization as you need something help improve your range of motion. Then, incorporate dynamic stretches that mimic the movements of the main exercise or workout routine. Focus on major muscle groups, emphasizing controlled, continuous motion. When it comes to a warm-up, you want to ensure you are starting slowly and gradually increase the intensity over time. Ensure that your warm-up addresses the primary muscle groups you'll be using during your workout. Then make sure you follow the first mistake and make sure you pay attention to your form to prevent injury. When it comes to your cool-downs, they are vital for gradually transitioning your body from the heightened state of exercise to a state of rest. It helps prevent abrupt changes in heart rate and blood pressure, promotes recovery, and can reduce muscle soreness. You want to gradually decrease the intensity of your workout by engaging in low-impact cardiovascular activities. This helps your heart rate and breathing return to baseline. Focus on static stretches to target major muscle groups. Hold each stretch for about 15, 30 seconds, aiming for a gentle stretch without pain. Include deep breathing exercises to promote relaxation and reduce tension in your muscles. This can be done in a seated or lying position. Focus on slow, deep breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Warming up and cooling down will help you stay injury-free and feeling great about going to the gym. However, make sure you aren't. Number 3. Overtraining Most people think that the more you work out, the quicker you'll get your dream physique. However, doing too much will only hinder your progress. Overtraining occurs when the volume and intensity of your exercise routine exceed your body's ability to recover. It can lead to fatigue, decrease performance, increase risk of injuries, and other negative health effects. To prevent overtraining, you'll need to make sure you are gradually progressing over time. Start with a manageable exercise routine and gradually increase the intensity, duration, or frequency over time. Avoid sudden drastic changes in your workout routine. The key to avoiding overtraining is to incorporate rest days into your workout routine. You don't need to train each muscle part for any more than twice per week. Any more is excessive and could only be preventing you from progression. Rest is required for your muscles so that they have the time they need to repair themselves. When you engage in physical activity, 
especially strength training or intense exercise, microscopic damage occurs in your muscle fibers. During the recovery period, the body initiates repair processes, such as protein synthesis, to rebuild and strengthen the damaged muscle fibers. Exercise is important, diet is essential, so make sure you aren't making this next mistake. Number 4. Poor Diet and Nutrition You can exercise all you like, but if you don't have a proper diet, then all that hard work will get you nowhere. Proper nutrition is of paramount importance for the overall health and functioning of the body. A well-balanced diet provides the essential nutrients, including carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals, necessary for energy production, cellular function, and growth. Adequate nutrition supports the immune system, helps regulate weight, and contributes to heart health by managing blood pressure and cholesterol cholesterol levels. It plays a crucial role in bone health, digestive function, and hormonal balance. Nutrition influences mood and mental well-being, impacting brain function and reducing the risk of mood disorders. Additionally, a nutrient-rich diet promotes healthy skin, supports proper organ function, and contributes to long-term health and disease prevention. In essence, proper nutrition is the cornerstone of overall well-being influencing every aspect of the body's physiological processes and ensuring a foundation for a healthy and vibrant life. Make sure you eat enough protein as this is a key factor in muscle growth. When engaged in strength training or resistance exercise, microscopic damage occurs in muscle fibers. Protein, comprised of amino acids, is essential for repairing and rebuilding these damaged fibers, a process known as muscle protein synthesis. Consuming an adequate amount of protein through dietary sources or supplements provides the necessary building blocks for this repair, facilitating the development of larger and stronger muscles. The amino acid leucine, in particular, plays a key signaling role in stimulating muscle protein synthesis. Timing protein intake around workouts and ensuring a consistent supply throughout the day optimizes the body's ability to repair and grow muscle tissue. Thus, protein is indispensable for individuals seeking to enhance muscle size, strength, and overall athletic performance. Before we get into the final mistake, comment below your favorite source of protein. Number 5. Comparing yourself to others Everyone is different. We have different genes and genetics, so it's unrealistic to look at others and obsess over how they look compared to you. Looking at people on social media and wishing you look like just like them is a terrible way to think. Doing this can lead to body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphic disorder, commonly referred to as body dysmorphia, is a mental health condition characterized by obsessive thoughts and concerns about perceived flaws or defects in one's physical appearance. Individuals with BDD are preoccupied with perceived imperfections that are often minor or non-existent, and these concerns can significantly impact their daily functioning, quality of life, and distortion your mental heat. Remember to just focus on what you are doing. Looking at other who you perceive as doing better will only lead to discouragement, jealousy, and resentment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more fitness videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos we think you'll love. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals. Bye for now.